Not all Ethernet cables are the same. Let's break them down and find out which one suits your needs. Cat5. This was once the standard for wired networks, offering speeds of up to 100 megabits per second with a bandwidth of 100 megahertz. However, it's now outdated and rarely used. But Cat5e improved performance by reducing interference. It supports up to 1 gigabit per second speeds while maintaining the same 100 megahertz bandwidth. Even today, Cat5e is a budget-friendly choice for basic networking. Next, we have Cat6. It supports speeds up to 10 gigabits per second, but only over short distances, up to 55 meters. It also has a higher bandwidth of 250 megahertz, reducing signal interference. Cat6, uh, it extends 10 gigabits per second speeds up to 100 meters and doubles the bandwidth to 500 megahertz. With better shielding, Cat6A is ideal for professional setups and high-performance environments. Cat7 brings even better shielding, reducing crosstalk and interference. It supports 10 gigabits per second speeds with a bandwidth of 600 megahertz. However, it requires special GG45 connectors which aren't widely used. Cat7A increases bandwidth to 1000 MHz, <laughs> making it more future-proof. But due to its limited compatibility, it's not as popular as newer alternatives. And finally, Cat8, the highest-performing Ethernet cable available. It supports blazing fast speeds of up to 40 gigabits per second with a bandwidth of 2000 MHz. Fully shielded and designed for low interference. Cat8 is the best choice for gaming, data centers, and ultra-fast networking. So, which Ethernet cable should you choose? If you're on a budget and need basic connectivity, Cat5e is still an option. For gaming and streaming, Cat6 or Cat6a is a solid upgrade. But if you want a future-proof, high-speed connection, Cat7 or Cat8 is the way to go. Make sure to pick the right Ethernet cable for your setup. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.